Good morning, Bauer families and Bauer Bobcats. We are so excited because today is one week from the first day of school, and we can't wait for you to arrive. I have some fun things I want to show you that have been happening here at Bauer. One of the great things that's been happening is we got new sidewalks and entrances here on the north side of the school and on the south side of the school, and they look awesome. You're going to see them when you get dropped off at school every single day. Thank you so much for providing that for us. We are loving it. I also want to show you a couple things you'll notice on the front of all of our doors here at Bauer. Here's our main entrance. So if a mom or a dad or someone is coming to drop something off, this is the door they would come in. And each of our doors has a reminder that to enter a school, you have to have a face covering on. This sign reminds us of that. We have a sign that reminds us of a COVID checklist symptoms to look for. If you had any of those symptoms, you wouldn't want to enter school, but you would want to touch base with a doctor. And just a reminder to make sure that you think through those symptoms before you arrive at school. Our students this year, whether they come on the bus or they're a walker or they're a car rider, instead of entering through door one like we have in the past, you're going to get to enter through your classroom pod doors. So that means if you're a third grader, you're going to be entering around this side in the third grade doors. If you're a kindergartner, you're going to be walking around on the other side. What I'm excited about is that we are going to have that first week of school so many teachers and staff outside making sure our kindergartners know exactly where to go, making sure our first graders know where those doors are. So if you're thinking, I'm not sure where my first grade door is, you've got time this week to come by school and check out which door is for which grade level, and we're going to have staff here ready to help. All right, let's go on inside and see what's happening inside at Bauer. All right. I'm excited to show you what's happening in the office, and I know Mrs. Leonard and Mrs. Bellazzini are going to be excited to see you, too. When you come in through our main office here, this is the way you go to the main office, but if you are a mom or a dad and you're just dropping off papers, you're going to turn around right over here. And we have a table right here that if you needed to fill something out or you were dropping something off, you would do that right there. And you don't even need to worry about coming into the school. And that will help us make sure that we're keeping only the people who should be here. If you come this way, we've got a few signs that remind us here. One, our chalk sign is welcoming back our bobcats with a mask. And up here, these are some of the signs that you're going to see throughout the halls. There are reminders to make sure we're washing our hands, we're wearing our masks, we're keeping six feet. And we're doing those things so that we can help everybody here at school. So come on in. Hi, Mrs. Leonard. Hi, Mrs. Bellazzini. Hello. Thanks so much for all the work you guys are doing, getting class lists ready, answering all the phone calls. We're so thankful for you. So much fun. Well, when you come to the office now, you'll see that we have plexiglass here for both Mrs. Leonard and Mrs. Bellazzini. And then if you needed to come, there's blue tape on the floor showing six feet. So if a student had to talk to them and there was a second student waiting, they would be waiting at the six foot line right over there. All right, let's go see what it looks like in our hallway and in our classrooms. Thanks, you guys. Bye-bye. Our main lobby is clean and ready, and we can't wait for kids to arrive. But this isn't a hallway that anyone's really going to be using anymore. Since everybody is in their classrooms, they're going to be coming in through the side doors, and they're going to really be exiting through the side doors. So there's not a lot of reason for anyone to be coming through this hallway so we don't have the tape markings on the floor here. But let me show you what it looks like in the hallways where the classes are. We're gonna head up this way. Oh, I can see Mrs. Keeler's ready for kids to arrive. Yay, you're here, she can't wait. Just like all the teachers who've been coming in and getting ready for our Bauer Bobcats to arrive. These are some of the signs that you see in our hallways here. Again, reminding all of our Bauer Bobcats to make sure that they have their face coverings on, they're keeping their six feet, they're washing their hands, and they're being a hero by helping others follow those same expectations. Come on, let's go take a look at the third grade classroom. When you get up here to our hallways, you'll see that we have tape markings on the floor. Here at Bauer, our students already really practiced being good at um, staying on the left side and the right side. So when students are walking this way, our Bauer Bobcats already know that their line is this side. If you were heading this way, they know that they're staying on this side. But our hashes are six feet apart, so they kind of give kids a reminder. 
this is the distance that we're keeping everywhere we go when we're at Bauer. Let me show you some of our hallway bathrooms here. Our K-1 and 2 classrooms all have a bathroom in their classroom, but our 3rd, 4th, and 5th grade have the hallway bathrooms. We've covered the water fountains so that our students know to just drink from their water bottles and that we're not going to fill or touch the um, hallway water fountains. Let's take a look at one of the bathrooms so you can see. This is our 3rd grade girls' bathroom. And we've taped off the middle stall so that we can make sure that kids are keeping enough of a distance. So we have two stalls that are open here. We've closed off the middle one and we've done the same thing with the sink and the hand dryers. We also have reminders about how to wash your hands. We have our soap here with more hand washing recommendations. And the good news is in the first week of school, we're gonna do lots of practicing. Give everybody a chance to make sure they know the rules that we follow when we're washing our hands. Come on down, let me show you one of our classrooms. I'm gonna stay on this side of the hall. We're gonna head into Ms. Hazen's classroom. Ms. Hazen taught kindergarten for us last year and this year she's teaching third grade. So we're so excited to have her down here. When you come into a third grade classroom or any of our classrooms, right over here on the side, right when you walk in is our hand sanitizer station. So our students, when they come in, they have hand sanitizer. And these are going to be some of the lessons that we're going to talk about on the first day of school, making sure that everybody knows how we enter and exit the classroom and our protocols for using hand sanitizer. Each of our classrooms has a sink, which is also right here with a soap dispenser. We have um, other cleaning supplies. Should we have a reason that someone moved and they wanted to make sure that we got that dust clean before someone else came in? My dad came up with this idea. This is my big, giant six-foot stick. This is what Mrs. Moore has been walking around the school that's how I measured to put all those tape pieces down. I would lay this down and make sure there was six feet between it. Same thing we do at our desks to make sure that there are six feet between where one student's head is and the next student's head is. So this has been kind of my magic tool to walk around and make sure all of our desks are ready. Here in Ms. Hazen's class, you can tell that student desks are ready. They have the supplies that they need for the first day. And next to each of them, our third grade teachers have gotten these baskets. They're gonna use these for extra stuff. So maybe this is where they're gonna have you keep your backpack or any extra supplies that don't fit in your desk so that you as a student at Bauer have one spot that all of your stuff is. So that's kind of some of the exciting things that are happening in Ms. Hazen's room. I know she's really, really excited for our students to come. Come with me this way. I'm gonna show you what it looks like when we're exiting here at Bauer. So our third grade hallway right here, which has three third grade classrooms, and then we have an instructional classroom here. These students are gonna come in and out every day out of this door. So this is door 25, and these students, when they come to school, will come in this door and go straight to their class. And when they're exiting at the end of the day, they're gonna go straight out this door too. So let me show you what that looks like. This door takes us right out to the car rider line. So if you were a third grader and you were exiting here, you'd be right at the spot where we're gonna line up for our car riders. If you were a walker, you'd be walking right down there to the crosswalk at River. And if you're a buster, you're walking around to where the buses are gonna be lined up. I have one more really exciting thing here at Bauer. We have a tent and not just one, but two. The school district provided a tent for us and so did the Bauer PTA. So if you look right over there, it's kind of in front of the gym. We have a giant tent there. What we're excited about for the tent is this tent and the other tent, which you're probably gonna see soon because it's good. they're gonna set that up right on the west side of the building. So you would see it whenever you drive past Bauer. Those two tents are for classrooms to rotate through each day. And that's where you might get to have your mask break one day. So when you're coming outside and you're staying six feet apart, you get a break with your mask and there's gonna be maybe a read aloud or Mr. B has some ideas of things that we can do when we're taking a mask break outside, but we're really excited. That's one more spot that's gonna be shady and cozy. One other good thing about Bauer, because we have this great property that we're on, each of the um, grade level pods has a second area that we've said, this is just for you. This is gonna be your spot that every day your classrooms can think about how they want to go outside. So for third grade, it's right over here. It's gonna be under these shady trees in the field. 
that's going to be the third grade spot right over there. Our second graders, they're under these trees and around the corner. First grade, kindergarten, fifth, fourth, everyone has an area of shady trees where they are going to be able to sit outside in addition to the two tents. So I hope that you can tell we are ready. We are excited and we can't wait for you to be back here at Bauer with all of us. See you guys in one week.